So we're just showing you the inside of the uh, BS350 and how we're going to change the belt from one speed to the other. And we'll also take the wheel off to show you how to change the belt to a new belt. Because um, a lot of people aren't aware that there's two speeds on these bandsaws. Now this, what we're doing is um, also relevant to the BS300, the BS350 for what we're doing here, and also the Sabre 350 because they're all of a similar size uh, and belt speeds. We're on the bike pulley at the moment. Uh, and you're looking at just under a thousand uh, meters a minute feed rate and if we were to bring the belt forward to the smaller diameter pulley um, it's just under 500 meters a minute feed rate now to swap the belt over what we do is we loosen the tension pulley off by turning the handle to the right clockwise and that releases the tension on the belt itself what we can do then is just simply bring the belt forward to the forward pulley on the motor and then just put your hand through, raise the belt up and roll the actual wheel round so that you can see that the poly V's on the belt are mating up to the poly V's on the motor and on the main wheel itself. Now once we've got that we can just put the tension back on by going anti-clockwise and just getting a, a tension again similar to a tension you're getting on the the blade itself we're looking for about a quarter inch movement pressing in once we've done that we can just rotate the wheel by hand just make sure everything's lined up ready to close the door put the power on to the machine and start the machine up and check that everything's in line so that's how we're going to change the belt over to the two speeds uh, and now we're going to show you how to change the belt itself okay so now we're going to show you how to replace the belt on the BS350 which is also relevant to the BS300 the Sabre 350 and some of the older models like the RSBS12, RSBS14 um, obviously make sure you've got the right belt for the machine that you've got in this instance, it's the SRPBS12-101, which is relevant for the uh, BS300, 350, the RSBS12 and RSBS14. Um, these are ribbed, so when you receive them, sometimes they are inside out. So it's a matter of twisting them over so that the poly V's are on the inside that will mate up with the motor pulley and the wheel from the machine so to take this off what we're going to do first of all is release the tension on the belt which makes the belt loose and then we can just put your hand through and wind the belt off the back pulley on the main wheel then we loosen off the socket head cap screw using the allen key or wrench uh, that's a six mil allen key that we use and leave the washer on the spring washer just put that somewhere safe out of the way and then that enables us to draw the wheel towards us they are a tight fit but it will eventually drop off leaving the belt there um, at this time we can clean the wheel down make sure there's no debris in the poly v grooves that may be riding when you're putting the belt on and just give the the wheel a general inspection make sure it's okay what you see then is the original belt that was on with the poly v's in there you can see the stem there's a circlet there that the gives you the position for the wheel when it pushes back onto there there's the idler pulley for adjusting the tension and then the two-step pulley for the two different belt speeds uh, you've just got on the back one which is the fast one it's just under a thousand meters a minute and the front one is just under 500 meters a minute so when we're putting the new belt back on we check the belt make sure it's in good condition and then we can place this over now you to position it on the back pulley and just rest it on the back pulley there then we take the wheel again we just push this on and then when we're halfway on 
we can just put our fingers through and just feed this belt back into position onto the back pulley of the wheel then just push through make sure that the uh, pulley is all in line then so it's the back pulley on the motor and the back pulley on the main wheel and this allows you to put the socket head cap screw back on um, before I do this there has been a bit of confusion because on some of the older models the stem or the shaft is a little bit longer and there's a circlip that locates the wheel in position rather than a socket head cap screw don't get mistaken because there's also a circlip around the outside here that holds the bearings in to the main wheel itself so you'll have two versions one without the socket head cap screw that's got the circlip and then the newer ones which are socket head cap screw 6mm wrench and then all we can do is just tighten up back into position and just a, a nip to give it the right amount of torque and then what we're going to do is we're going to wind the idler pulley back out which will then put the tension back on the belt again just make sure there's plenty of tension on there we want to be able to flex the belt across and not have, it, not have it too rigid so once we've done that it enables us to then close the door and when the door's closed it kicks in with the limit switch and then we need to put the power back on because while we're doing an operation like this we need to make sure the machine is isolated for safety so I hope that's been helpful if there's any more questions on this please come back to us